Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be looking at the Grunt Ultra figure from Halo Reach. This guy is really cool, but before we take a closer look at him, let's take a look at his packaging. Like every other Reach figure, comes in this uh, standard packaging. It's got Reach getting glassed here on the background. And on the back, there are the other figures uh, in the wave. Uh, you know, we've, we've seen these packages a hundred times, so let's get back to the figure. This guy was released in Series 1, so he is really well done, like well painted and everything. And he comes with a really good selection of accessories. The first one here is his plasma pistol. It's got a removable peg, and this one actually fits in his hands really well, uh, unlike the needler, which you have to heat up to get in his hands. You can just slip this one right in. His second accessory is his huge backpack. It's insane. that It's almost molded entirely solid. Uh, the only part that's not solid is right there, and that's just to, uh, you know, lose a little bit of weight so he can actually stand up. And it fits really nicely onto his back here, just like that. His next accessory is his removable helmet. As you can see there, it almost looks like it's not removable on the figure because they did such a good job and then once it's off you can tell I mean it's really well detailed and for being kind of a hard plastic it fits on there really well you don't have to worry about it falling off or anything and it, it looks natural so that's nice and then like all of the grunt figures he's got a removable uh, breathing mask it just slips on over his lower jaw uh, just like that and while his mask's off, you can see they've painted his teeth and the inside of his mouth, which is nice. His last accessory is this plasma grenade. Like every other plasma grenade, it's molded in uh, pearlescent purple plastic. And say that five times fast. <laughs> uh, and there is no place to stick this grenade uh, on his belt, so you'll have to keep track of that. Put his helmet back on here. He stands about four and a quarter, four and a half inches tall. So he's got pretty good size. Um, and his articulation, for being such an oddly shaped character, is actually really well done. He's got a double ball peg in his head. And then he's got another one at the base of his neck. So you can pretty much pose his head any way you want it. He can look up, he can look down. So that's really nice. He's got ball hinge shoulders that do swivel. He's got hinged elbows, uh, no wrist articulation. He's got like a, a diaphragm joint here. I'm, I'm gonna guess it's a ball peg. Uh, yeah, I'm almost positive it's a ball peg, but it gives him a pretty good range of motion. Uh, you can use it as a swivel, so that's pretty nice. He's got swivel hips that will go 360 if you need them to. Uh, they're a little stiff but they definitely work. And then he's got hinged knees. And uh, one thing I do want to mention about this guy is that I never have any problems standing him up. You know, you'd think with such a heavy backpack, it would be hard to get him to stand, but you don't have to worry about it, which is uh, really nice. This guy's paints are really well done. I mean, like all over his skin has got dry brushing on it. Everything is detailed. I mean, it looks just like the game, so I would say definitely pick this guy up if you see him for a good price. I mean, he's definitely worth it. So uh, just tell me what you think about this character in the comments section below, and I'll see you later.